Hey, we are recording now. We are live. How you doing, Danielle? How you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. We had some technical difficulties the last time on IG. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with them like that anymore. We're gonna try to get something that is concrete. So thank yeah. you, StreamYard. I'm gonna put that out there. Y'all need to um <laughs> sponsor sponsor me, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Instagram Instagram can be tough, man. Yeah, it's you don't know what's gonna happen until you get on there. Yeah, because they're always updating something. Mm -hmm. but i guess that's how it is but mm -hmm. tell me what's what's been going on as far as like what have you been doing like the last week <laughs> what's going uh, on this week um i've just kind of been uh, i just recently won a commission slash grant from oh. iowa like uh, it's called ilysm mm -hmm. um i love you so much um they just they sell tabby shoes and they kind of want to help out emerging artists kind of thing so they do a lot of commissions and um grants like i said um so yeah i won the commission for that so i nice. like having meetings with them kind of figure out um just trying to figure out some ideas and stuff like that um and then other than that you know i do work at mint so i've been doing that too um other than that i kind of been chilling i'm trying to start on working on my paintings and stuff for the solo show that I'm going to have in in January. Uh -huh. so I think I'm going to start being a little busy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you talk about that? What you're, what you're going to, oh, you want that to be like secret. I want uh, to get exclusive stuff. So. <laughs> um, you want to know about the solo show or the yeah, convention? The, both. I want to know everything. I'm, I'm no. Okay. Um, yeah, like the commission, um, like I said, it's, um, I can kind of like shout out the, I guess the Instagram name is, so it's I-L-Y-S-M dot J-P-G. So that's their Instagram at, um, you'll probably see me in one of their posts or whatever, but we've kind of been talking about um, maybe incorporating my sculptures um, within you know, some some type some somehow incorporating my sculptures because I know they really like my sculptures. I um, love them too. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, and they were also talking about maybe making some type of patches or something that they can kind of incorporate and put onto their shoes. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm the perfect to... person to do patches. Look on my Instagram, um, right on uh, stories and mm -hmm. the young lady a house called. You, I think that's what it is. Um, mm -hmm. and I'll be interviewing her next. Well, this week, this week, and uh, she does amazing patches. Black oh, cool. Woman. Yeah, she's amazing. No, yeah, I've never done patches before, so this is gonna be super interesting. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. So we're talking about doing patches on their shoes and stuff like that, and as well as incorporating my sculptures some way somehow. Mm -hmm. um, I have another meeting with them uh this Wednesday, so we'll see what's up with that. Nice. Yeah. That's exciting. No, yeah, it's exciting. I think I'm just gonna be busy. Uh that's kind of my main like I guess I don't want to be stressed. I just know I'm gonna be busy. Yeah. So I'm just trying to like balance everything. Yeah. So yeah. tell people about your like medium. Like what you do different stuff, like your sculptures, and then you have your paintings. And so can you first talk about your paintings and then go into your sculptures? You know, yeah, sure. So right now, um, if you kind of see like my paintings kind of, how, how would I even <laughs> describe them really? <laughs> like I can actually, I would love to read kind of part of mm -hmm. my, my artist statement that I kind of talk about uh, within my paintings. Mm -hmm. um, I do just to like explain, um, I do have a website. So if anyone, you know, wants to check out the website, it'll be Danielle Blanding at, I mean, I said almost at my Gmail, uh, DanielleBlanding.com. Mm -hmm. And, and you'll definitely, you kind of like get the gist of my artwork and you can kind of check out um, my, artist statement but yeah so when it comes when it like of course I started off with paintings 
Um, and then eventually I kind of ventured out trying out my sculptures. Mm-hmm. So um, I kind of started off with just kind of trying to understand, uh, I guess, human condition. Um, just kind of understand. Um, honestly, it really started off with my very first piece, which was based off of my grandfather. I don't necessarily tell people that just because I kind of want everyone to, you know, kind of come up with their own perspective on things when it comes to my piece. Um, but yeah, so when I started off with that, it was more about focusing on the fear of cause and effect. Right. Um, and when I say that, it, I can kind of give an example, maybe, you know, say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm smoking cigs, but then, you know, it's a horrible, you know, result to that. that yeah. More than likely it's either cancer or, you know, you know other things like that or oh I get you know I have to get a you know trachea thing done or you know stuff like that Mm -hmm. um but yeah like my just my thing in general was just kind of focusing on the fear of cause and effect and you know it can be literally anything when it comes to that right Uh, but yeah so kind of taking that and then exploring between grotesque and beautiful in a way and trying to kind of smash those together um but yeah so I'm definitely drawn to of course the human figure and distortion so if you see any of my paintings it'll of course be somewhat human-like but also not really human-like if that makes any kind of sense Mm -hmm. Um, I'm definitely super super interested in skin and fungi so I specifically focus on skin conditions skin diseases whatever you want to call it um then I'm also super into fungi like I said so I kind of definitely kind of search and kind of research fungi and it's it's all oh my gosh fungi is so beautiful I tell I'm telling you like man I follow all like all kinds of fungi photography like it, really wow it's, it's really it's beautiful like I don't I don't I mean I guess some of them can be kind of skin crawling a little bit mm-hmm. as well as conditions of course but I don't even I don't know I think after researching everything it it doesn't look ugly to me mm-hmm. I, you know it looks de- it's definitely something that is it's really I don't know it's really captivating I really really like it so um, where, where does that come from like tell me like is, is it more of like you growing up and seeing being in like biology class or something like how how you, why do you like that stuff so. <laughs> um, oh yeah so Initially, I wanted to be a pediatric surgeon. Okay. Um, That's what I really wanted to do. And then when I hit my senior year of high school, um, I applied to FAMU. Have you ever heard of FAMU? Um, And I was actually going to go there for bioengineering. Mm -hmm. Um, So that, but then all of a sudden my mom kind of was like, oh, well, you know, I guess she knew. I think she knew before I did kind of thing. Moms do. (laughs) Right. And yeah, so she showed me SCAD and then it was like, bam, I just started, I was painting and then that's just where it went. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, I think it really comes from that. Just, I guess the medical types of stuff that I was really into um, because I've always, I just always have been into it. Um, But I've also always been in hospitals and stuff like that growing up, uh, just with my grandparents and everything. So I don't know if that may be a factor too. yeah, I don't. It's so you. You're like one of those um, people that likes to watch those videos that the um, doctors cut the pus out the. Uh... Oh, like the pimple poppers. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm like I'll watch that sometimes, but it's it's not it's not even it's not even that. I think it's like um, that sounds weird, but I mean I like looking. I like watching like serial killer type stuff. Not almost some like sketchy. Not also, nothing sketchy, but, <laughs> like, you know, like it's, um, I think I just really like the human form and yeah. just, uh, flesh in general. I, it's really, I don't know, it's really interesting to me. And yeah, cause I, you see like your sculptures and like the, the bumps on the sculptures and stuff. And like, you can feel, you can see how it's like movable and squishy at the same time it almost gives you like a it's like slime how you just love the feel of slime mm-hmm. or like that puff mm-hmm. stuff that you can just squish and it's cold mm-hmm. and stuff so yeah mm-hmm. I totally get it <laughs> no, yeah like it's um 
Yeah, I think my process is pretty interesting, I guess. I mean, I really, I know a lot of people ask me where, uh, how do I start off my paintings? And it's never, sometimes it's not even a really a huge process. Um, I usually just kind of start drawing something out um maybe just from imagination um sometimes i'll just kind of sketch something out that comes to my head um and then maybe if i have any inspiration from any fungi that i've already had that i've taken photos of or anything like that and that i've saved i'll kind of look at those and kind of see what i want to incorporate mm -hmm. or i'll look at other um you know some people have you know have you seen like some people that have the uh face tumors the face tumors mm -hmm. um i really like I'm not saying I really like it, but it's more of, um, I really like to look into that stuff and study those, that type of thing too. Um, I'm really into that. Um, it's just different types, like I said, different types of skin conditions that I'll look into. And yeah, I'll just kind of smash it together. And once I kind of sketch it out, I'll incorporate yeah. it now and then bam, it bam. It so interesting when I found you on Instagram and I was like, this is so different. This is so <laughs> cool like I'm like so into like that's not original I mean you know that's not like the same you know type of art or whatever I like different stuff like what you're doing and when I saw your sculptures I was just like but you're just saying how you had saw my sculptures yeah yeah so I saw, I saw all your sculptures and I was like gosh the like how you you can see how it compares to your your um artwork like your painting they were like so um it it looks similar to each other to me mm -hmm. so you, it was like a matching of like a of a couple that piece that pair together so like if you were to buy one piece you have to get the you know <laughs> the sculpture like why not get the sculpture with the painting like it's just like it it was like peanut butter and jelly. It, it just came, it had to come together with it. And I saw, and I was just so like intrigued by it. It was dope. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Like, yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so like, um, yeah, so tell me like um, about the, so we did the, uh, I forgot we, so we went into, Painting. I wanted to know. I wanted to know more about like the background of like your family and oh okay. All that stuff. <laughs> um. Well. Wow. Okay. Where do you want me to start? I, I mean, like, do you have any siblings? Like, are you yeah. the only child? Like, how is that? Um, um. Are they supportive with what you're doing and stuff like that? Yeah. Um. So I have. I have. I have three siblings. I have one half sister. She's super older than me. She's like, she's in her late thirties. Um, and then I have two brothers. One is, who is 18, one is 21. Wow. So, yeah. So I guess when it comes to actual, like my brothers, I'm the oldest, but then I have my sister. So, but yeah, so those are my siblings. Um, no, but yeah, like everyone is super supportive. Like I said, my mom is the one that took me and showed me art school which is super, I mean, they're just super supportive. I've never had any issues mm -hmm. with them supporting me wanting to be an artist. So, I mean, it's been pretty, you know, it's been pretty breezy, if I'm being honest. Like, it hasn't, I haven't had any, yeah. And it's pretty different to, like, you know, you know, as, a like, a Black woman, just to have people, you know, like, your actual Black parents when, you know, most of them aren't really, like, oh, yeah, be an artist. It's never, yeah. it's never that, you know. Um, so, yeah, like, I've had it good. Like they, they've been super supportive. I'm really appreciative of it. Oh, yeah, super. Yeah. That's good. That's cool. So, what is your ex have your experience with Mint? Like, I love everybody in that establishment. All the the board directors and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. they are really cool and really help the artists there. So, mm -hmm. what have your what has your experience been with them? Um, yeah, Mint has been super cool. Um, I've been there since January. Um, but once my internship was over, they asked me to stay longer. So I am now just, I was initially the arts administration intern and now I'm considered the arts administrator there. So it's pretty cool. Like, um, no, yeah, like everyone, like I said, everyone is pretty chill. They're down to earth. Um, 
it's, I don't know, it's, it's been an awesome experience to be, you know, working at a gallery. I've worked at other galleries and other museums, and this one is, like, definitely one of my favorites by far. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just kind of meeting all, just all, you meet so many different people in it. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I, I love the atmosphere there. It's, it's it's amazing to be there every day. Like, I, I love coming through and, you know, like checking out, you know, different artists and, you know, just working with the different interns. And like you said, the board, the board is super cool. Um, no, yeah, like everyone, you know, the people definitely make the place. So that's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, that gallery is very inviting. Yeah, for sure. To, um, mm-hmm. Compared to other galleries that I've been to. Um, and then also just support artists in general. Right. Um, and, and also people of color there too. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think it's, I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. I mean, they are in the inner city. They are near West End. Like, it's just the community that they're in. You will just hope that they are focused on, you know, helping the people that are in the, in the community mm-hmm. or look like the community. So, yeah. Right. Shout out to Mint. Woo woo. Yeah, shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I love them. Um, and then uh what else? Like I wanna know like what you are going to do in the future as far as like your plans for your um solo show. So if you can talk more about that. Um, yeah, so I so okay, so my idea I'll give a little thing, I guess, of my idea. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'm i really excited to have it in, like, because I want it in a smaller kind of space. I don't, I didn't really want it in, like, some huge, like, you know, a certain type of gallery that was kind of big, mm-hmm. um, because I'm kind of wanting it to be a certain size where it's kind of the size of maybe a little bit bigger than a bedroom, um, and I'm wanting it to kind of be, like, you walk into it and... It's, of course, it's completely different. You're you're not even going to think that you're at mid, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, I want you to walk in there and, you know, it's going to be its own little world kind yeah. of thing. Um, yeah. Because that's definitely, like, one of my, you know, my goals with, with my artwork. Um, oh, excuse me. Experience uh, when you come in. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like, you know, I definitely, you know, I'm creating a world of characters. Mm-hmm. So I guess, so to speak, like, I mean, I'm working, you know, it's a world of characters to me um they're embracing themselves um no matter you know what it looks like mm-hmm. uh, it's but yeah like I want it to kind of maybe look like I'm definitely I definitely know I'm gonna have uh fake grass on the floor oh, wow. um, but yeah I kind of want it to be maybe like a forest type of deal maybe mm-hmm. um but not the typical forest that you would maybe like think of um but that would be not original Compared to your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be very, yeah, it's going to be something that it looks like, I feel like I want the room to look like my work, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so I want, yeah, I want it to, for people to be able to walk in there and be like, okay, like, this is, this is an actual, this is, this room is artwork too. Do you you get what I'm saying? Right. Right. um, Yeah, so I'm still working on that. I'm working on you know, all the measurements of everything to, you know, get all the supplies that I need. Um, yeah. And I'm also having, you know, getting, I have a donation thing right now. I may make a GoFundMe, mm-hmm. um, trying to get some donations in and things like that. I'm selling prints by the way. Um, that's on my website as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of getting some donations in and stuff like that so that I can purchase certain materials that yeah. I'll be able to use for the solo show. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah like that would be super amazing um but yeah so that's a little thing of my idea like I don't want to go too like detail that sounds thing. amazing um so that whole experience room experience too mm-hmm. um collect- yeah I definitely want it to be an experience yeah oh, I can't wait to be invited to the <laughs> I'm excited to see it. I'm so no, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, it's I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I can't wait to you know get started. 
on, you know, decorating and, you know, getting things together. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm also like, it's, you know, it's a little, I guess, nerve wracking, but also it's excitement in there. Yeah. You should like document it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I should, you know what? That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. do that. Yeah. Do I'll do it. that. Yay. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, give us some little sneak peeks, like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe do like time lapses of me yes. um, building it up and stuff like that. I think that would be cool, yeah. That would be super cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I can repost it on Comfy Art. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> so like your experience at SCAD, so were you at um, Savannah or did you go to Atlanta SCAD? Um, I've been at both locations. Um, I was in Savannah for mm, maybe two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Uh, started there, freshman through uh, to like my jun- beginning of my junior year, and then I left and went to Atlanta. Um, I just really needed a new atmosphere kind of thing. I wasn't yeah. in the best place near the end um, while I was in Savannah. Um, so I kind of had to, yeah, I had to go kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, like Atlanta was cool. Savannah was also cool, you know, just, but yeah, like I've been to both and they both were great, but I would say going to Atlanta, um, I felt like I had the best professors ever. Really? Um, yeah. Like I've heard I different. I didn't go to SCAD. Wait, say it again. I, I kind of hate, I went to the Art Institute and I I, oh, yeah. regret, I regret going to a HBCU and I regret not going to HBCU and then I also regret <laughs> not going to SCAD. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like I wanted to go to HBCU too, but then I think, yeah, SCAD just, they pulled me in. Yeah. Yeah, they pulled me in. It was, yeah, as it soon was- as you walk in, they pull you in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, it was done. I was like, never mind. Especially up there in Atlanta. That's like a whole, whole world. Yeah. Wait, have you, have you been to the Savannah? Savannah? Yeah, I've been. Mm -hmm. Um, Atlanta. um, Yeah, there's just so many uh, buildings, though. That's the issue. Like, it's so many buildings. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's 70 plus. Yeah. But it's amazing. Like the architecture there is great. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it's it's yeah, but yeah, in Atlanta I had the best professors. Um, shout outs to Michael and Tom. Tom retired, but you know, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, they were the best. They were the best. They de- I feel like, you know, they definitely helped me a lot within like I guess me progressing within my paintings Mm -hmm. Um, because I never I never really my style wasn't really uh I guess where it is now um until hmm, maybe my maybe near the end of my junior year okay yeah so my style I haven't even really like yeah like my style has been um it hasn't been as consistent when I first started painting, but now it's like this is like this is my style. This is style. How I am. Yeah, yeah, so. and that, that's what that's that's great that you said that because I'm in the transition of finding my style now mm-hmm. um, as an artist because I stopped for a long time, probably like seven years. I stopped mm-hmm. doing like art for myself, yeah, for others, and. Um, just like the first couple of, you know, doodles and painting, mm-hmm. it's just like, ooh, you can see, you know what I mean? You can kind of see, like, I'm trying to get back to where I am. Um, I like where I am now. I have some stuff that I've started. I do want to do a show next year, a solo show next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm committed to do at least 10 pieces for the show. Um but uh, I'm still, you know, I'm still, uh, I guess I'm not, I'm, I'm uh, kind of like weary. I don't know. I'm kind of scared because this is a whole new type of thing. Mm-hmm. Now. Um, I'm kind of 
Absolutely. I'm out there as an artist, not as like a curator or like meeting artists and doing interviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This is more of my stuff. So, yeah. What, what exactly do you usually do? I use app, do abstract paintings. I can mm -hmm. show you what I've, what I've done. I'll show you. Okay. I do Oh, okay, wait, what? I love that. Yeah. Is it always black and white or do you usually do you use colors? I do. So you see this little thing right there? Yeah. It's like red. My daughter did that when I didn't know. And I was mm -hmm. like, no, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but it looked good. It looked good because it was like the only color in the in the yeah, it's the only color in that piece. So like I've bought like acrylic markers, pen markers, because I'm not um I feel that I'm not like ready for the the uh painting, the brush yet. So um I'm doing it with the markers and I have like a 20 by 20 and a 30 by 30 one that I, so I want to do bigger, bigger ones like that. That'd be cool. mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. You can always start off like kind of maybe practicing. It doesn't have to be necessarily on canvas. It can be on paper. Yeah. You know, or some type of wood, whatever. Yeah. I've had two small, smaller pieces that are like five and a half by eight mm -hmm. that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, one is black, all black and white, and the other one is like purple, purple. Mm. I want to just keep it really simple right mm. now until I, I guess, feel comfortable and in moving into like other colors. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get there. You'll get I'll get there. there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I get inspired with by all the artists that I connect with, like, mm. yeah. Y'all really inspire me. Like, dang, I'm glad. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 Because, like, you, like, you, like, hearing that you kind of transitioned to find your own space and your <laughs> own, um, your own artwork, your own, you know, persona as mm -hmm. an artist. Um, it's really inspiring when it, when somebody is just, you know, just starting and to know that the transitions that you go through to get to where you are now is really amazing. So I apl applaud you for where you are right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I guess that's it. That's all I have right now. Do you want to, do you have anything that you want to say? Or do you want to? Um, oh, well, I mean, if like whenever, you know, if any, you know, whenever um, people watch this, um, I would, like I said, I would love to shout out my website, daniellebladding.com. Um, you can also go just, you know, check out my Instagram. That'll, it'll be a link to my prints where you can kind of check out my prints right now. I am selling only two uh, two separate paintings, um, and that is Causal Nexus Phobia and Claudia. Um, those are my, I guess, my top uh, paintings right now that everyone is super interested in. Um, you can DM me about, you know, any other pieces. I've had other people DM me about certain pieces that aren't, um, that I'm not selling right now. And it'll just kind of be the kind of like, you know, DM me, but, oh, hey, do you have this piece that you can make, maybe have a print of or whatever? Um, so I'm down with that, too. Is um, there a reason why you're not selling? Are you selling the original pieces or you just are not no, ready? No, I'm selling the original pieces. Um, I, you know, uh, Mint, they they represent me right now. And I'm also being represented by um, this this gallery called Ungalleried. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in Portugal. Mm -hmm. So, um those are the two tell me about that. What? You just now uh, tell me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah so um, 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're online. Um, I probably should start adding them. I probably I'm I was thinking yeah. to yeah, I was thinking to add everybody that um I'm being represented by under and let me be in my bio or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm represented by them. Um they're more of like an online type of gallery, but I mean Mint is also online right now too. Yeah. Um my show the the other show just finished, A Different World. So um but yeah, so both of what I'm being represented by right now is all online. Um but yeah, so yeah, so two galleries right now. Nice. Yeah. That's dope. So how did you get that? Like, did they reach out to you? Yeah, um, I was, yeah, they reached out to me. Um, it was, it was, it was pretty, like, it's pretty cool. Like, when I found out, like, because they actually reached out to me before they even, because they had just, they just started uh, mm-hmm. that, that gallery. Um, when was that? Mm-hmm. Last year, maybe? Mm-hmm. maybe? Last year or the year before that? Um, I think it was last year, though um but yeah last year they they messaged me um they I guess they were just kind of telling me that they've been you know on the scope for different artists um to represent when they started their gallery um you know and I was down so I was like okay cool like you know let's see what happens right yeah so I just started um posting some of my artwork to to that gallery Mm -hmm. so that you know so we'll see what happens there, but yeah, it's cool. Nice, nice. I'm gonna look into more into your stuff because I want to buy something. I okay, yeah, yeah. Because if honest, because if you um, like I said, if you see something that you really like more than any of the other prints that are on sale right now, mm-hmm. then you can always let me know, and I can get a print of it for you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes, and a signature. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's um you know, things are pretty cool right now. I'm just like I said, I think I'm just going to be a little busy with the commission and trying to come, you know, start my solo show. I'm supposed to start painting. My goal is to start painting tomorrow. Um so yeah, I got to get started now. Yeah. In January. So, yeah. That's exciting. I'm so proud of you. I'm so Thank excited you. for next year for you like it's hot so whenever you need from me just let me know um okay. get to support and uh yeah thank you right. yeah yeah like it's yeah it's exciting like i'm super excited it's just, oof. i just don't <laughs> busy i just i'm i just don't want to stress myself out or anything right. you know i don't want to burn out or anything like that so i'm just kind of taking it you know kind of slow taking it easy um yeah Nice. Yeah. All right, dear. Well, thank you for being on Quarantine Design Live. Um, thank you for setting, have you know, taking the time because I know it was rough the last time. <laughs> yeah, Instagram, man. Instagram can suck, man. Yeah. 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 But we got this one, and I'm glad. Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad. So I'll let you know um, when we put it up and uh, I'll send it to you so you can have it for yourself. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. (laughs) Bye.